Hello, my name is Behruz Rezanejad and I'm a master's student at the University of Montreal. My research project is about parasites, mainly about antiparasitic medicine. Parasites are tiny organisms that live inside or outside of animals and feed on them, but some of them cause serious disease in animals and even lead to this. In the meantime, every year they impose millions of dollars of economic losses in livestock production all around the world, especially in sheep and goats. These losses include controlling plants, treatment, animal deaths, and production losses. But what is the solution? Using antiparasitic medicine. Ivermectin is one of the most critical antiparasitic medicines that simply kills the parasites and we are able to control them. So what is the problem? Surprisingly, these tiny organisms are very clever and they do their best to survive by changing some of their internal functions. But how is this possible and how they do this? This is the mysterious part. Nowadays, it's proven that after long-term use of antiparasitic medicines, parasites get resistance to these medications. Moreover, parasites, as well as other organisms, secrete specific molecules for different purposes, and maybe some of these are related to resistant parasites. To find out this, we have chosen Hamacus contortus, the most important parasitic disease of sheep and goats to study ivermectin resistance. Hemonchus contortus and most of the other important parasites live in the digestive tract and produce a lot of eggs daily. So we can evaluate the parasitic infection in a herd simply by counting the eggs in a feast by microscope. So first we collect fecal samples before and after treatment with ivermectin from different farms and count the eggs. If the number of eggs do not decrease by 95%, we suspect drug resistance. Also, we incubate the eggs at different concentrations of ivermectin to see how much they are resistant. Then we look for genetic differences in resistant parasites to find out what they had changed to tolerate the medicine. And finally, we will analyze the parasites to see what molecules they secrete, which maybe some of them will be specific to resistant parasites. Therefore, we try to find out genetic differences and a specific molecules secreted outside of the resistant parasites. Our long-term goal is to find uh, novel markers for ivermectin resistance in order to develop a test that could elucidate the presence of Hemonchus contortus resistant isolates. The significance of this work is to determine the status of ivermectin efficacy against the Moncus contortus and other parasites. This information is very important for farm veterinarians and animal producers in order to wisely use ivermectin to control parasites. Thank you so much for your attention.